Здорово. Ну что ж, я давно не снепал, но давно не записывал, поэтому... А... Поэтому не знаю, что... Где не было вроде с самого начала, а да, мы начали исследовать. Да. Так что, блин, лишь бы а, я помню, почему я забросил, потому что там а, что-то происходило, и стал а, по свое персонаж не Ну я уже главу поднял. А с тех пор да, уже очень много времени прошло. Hey, watch out! That explosion has superheated the tunnels ahead. That steam will cook the skin off your bones. If you can find a mining energy shield, switch it on. It should protect you against the heat if you move quickly enough. Yeah. Ah, понятно. Энергетический щит. Да. Там мне сейчас он есть.
опять же я не могу ходить. Господи, как это так? Уровня. На уровне. Я уже не помню, использовать на фильтр. Что не сказать, то есть наблюдать, не всегда. Прямо безопасность. Чего у нас безопасность определяющий практически филип? Я вообще, если пройду, я не знаю, как буду очень сильно радоваться за этой всей херни. Каждый раз мой ломает кусты. Слушай, 
What's up, Kurda? We're supposed to be sinking fuel siphons into the 3218 asteroid shelf right now. Forget the siphons. You know that survivor they pulled from the freighter? One of the miners said they served with him on Malachor 5. Malachor 5? So he's one of the survivors. Or worse, a Mandalorian. So what? Not a survivor, idiot. He's one of the Jedi from Malachor 5. If he's one of the Jedi, hell, we can't have him walking around here. He'll... Well, I don't know what he'll do. I thought all the Jedi were wiped out in the Civil War, weren't they? Guess they missed one. But it gets better. I did some checking, and that bounty on Nar Shadda is still alive. What? You want to sell the Jedi to the Exchange? Korda, have you been chewing spice? Look, you know how big that bounty is? That Jedi's our ticket off this rock. Korda, there's no way the officers will go for that. They'll lock us up for sure. Then we'll improvise. Так, ковер до хера мне этих, да, открылось. Значит, протокол дроидов для бурения уплотненных дверей. 
неудачи. Ладно, выйдем из системы.
Ну, ударить, что-то. Ты ударить не можешь. Most curious. 
Готов пойде. Ступа, что значит? Плейтейшн мерли отен оф фрейз, мастер. The implication that your state was due to the result of ingesting large quantities of juma juice was unintentional. I meant to communicate only that you were somehow rendered unconscious before you were locked securely in the cargo hold. Clarification by locked. I meant sealed, master. Recitation. Following the unusual set of coincidences that led to the cascade failure in the Harbinger systems, we were boarded by a small freighter with unknown ID codes. It appeared that this freighter had been attacked, and the captain wanted to study it. This freighter appeared to be still spaceworthy. Your cargo compartment was breached, and you were taken on board the freighter shortly before the Harbinger systems began to go critical. I, too, managed to board the freighter before the Harbinger's destruction. We were most fortunate to have survived, Master. Evaluation. Master, I do not know. Judging from the damage, it had been attacked by a much larger vessel. And when it attempted to escape the Harbinger with you on board, it was fired on again. Addendum. It does seem odd that such a small vessel has a high probability of attracting the attention of much larger vessels. Not a welcome trait in a freighter, to be sure. Explanation. I believe it was a smuggler's vessel by the name of the Ebon Hawk. Speculation. As to its purpose, I do not know. Perhaps it was always its intention to play dead, then kidnap you off the Harbinger and rob me of my bounty. Apologies. Oh, my yeah. memory core cannot provide a clear answer on that point, Just Master. Suffice to say that once we arrived at this floating rock, our situation became much yeah, clearer. Yeah, yeah, sure. Explanation. Despite my market value, Master, the miners were far more interested in you. It did not take long for me to ascertain the reason for this. While an HK protocol droid is a valuable piece of property, Jedi are worth much more in certain exclusive markets across the galaxy. Painful admission. I must confess to feelings of inferiority at the speculated difference between my value and the price for your capture. I was forced to remind myself it was not due to a failing of my model or function, but because you were a Jedi. Surprised answer. Why I told them, Master. You are the exiled Jedi who served with Revan in the Mandalorian Wars, are you not? I hope all that has happened has not been the result of a miscommunication. If so, then the problem lies with the core word databases, which are notoriously spotty. Indignant exclamation. Master, I am only a protocol droid, but it is part of my function to know such information and relay it to any interested parties in the interests of terminating any potential hostiles. Answer. All that has happened has been because they believe you to be a Jedi Master. They debated what to do with you as you lay unconscious in the medical bay. One group seemed intent on selling you as property. The other group opposed this. Three standard hours after the division between the miners became apparent, accidents began to occur throughout the facility. A result of improper maintenance, I believe. 
These accidents coincided with the degradation of the mining droid behavioral cores. Crude models are prone to such failures, resulting in murderous rampages. The mortality rate of organics in the facility rose quickly. Many miners began to join you in the medical bay as a cascade of flawlessly timed detonations occurred in isolated gas pockets in the lower levels of the facility. The explosions herded the miners into emergency sections of the station quickly and efficiently, cutting them off from communications and facility control. But sadly enough, not the ventilation systems. You see, the explosions had damaged specific sections of this facility's ventilation systems, causing a slow, lethal buildup of toxic fumes in the dormitory level. <laughs> Answer. I do not know, Master. Ironically enough, any miner that fled to the dormitory level to protect themselves from the droids and the explosions would find themselves in a gas-filled death trap. It is unlikely any miners remain alive. As I said, the dormitory has been cut off from the rest of the facility, as has the hangar bay. There is no escape. Apology. Unfortunately, communication with the dormitory section is severed, Master. It is perhaps for the best, especially if any other accidents have occurred in that section. If that were the case, the severed comm link would have spared us the satisfaction of hearing the miners' screams as they lived out their last moments in fear and terror. Theory. You could walk across the surface of the asteroid to the dormitory airlock, but such a route would be extremely hazardous, and I do not wish to see you damaged. Morning. Master, continued exploration of this facility may place you in unnecessary danger. I encourage you to return to the medical bay and wait for retrieval from a vessel that is no doubt on the way, even as we continue this pointless conversation. Weary resignation. Very well, Master. But there is very little that I can do. You see, the airlock is sealed by a code. Correction. Oh, I already possess the code, Master, but I am afraid that it will do you no good. Condescending explanation. Master, the console governing the droid maintenance area and the airlock is voice printed musing. In the last days of his life, the maintenance officer was quite careful about voice protocols bordering on paranoid obsession. Conjecture. I suspect once he realized something was wrong in the facility, he voice locked the droid bay functions. A prudent measure, but in the end, he met the same fate as the rest of the organics. Condescending explanation. Oh, yes, Master. The code is Maintenance Control Voice Print ID R1B5. But unless the maintenance officer speaks the code, it is useless. Answer. Master, you cannot. You are trapped here just as I am. There is nothing to do except patiently wait for whatever the future has in store for us. Of course, my... Has 
hesitant answer. Ah, a T3 utility droid would be a common sight in this facility. It is indeed curious that I have not seen many since my arrival. However, I feel I must inform you that, droid prejudice aside, T3 models exhibit excessive individualism when not routinely memory wiped. This individualism can become such a nuisance that even a droid such as myself is tempted to reduce them to their base components, if not crush them into slag. But enough of my seemingly irrelevant tangent. Where did you leave the droid, Master? That would logically be the best place to look. Answer. Ah, then that would explain why such a T3 unit isn't here, Master. I believe my photoreceptors are functioning adequately enough to verify that. Of course, Master. How may I be of assistance? Accessing memory. Ah, yes. I believe you've asked this question before, Ma- Oh, yes! It was, where did you leave the droid, Master? Характеристики. А, сила и 
деле означает создание и рассуждение в своем А, и все, да, у меня один. Навыки. Вот, не было. Безопасно, так, что там использовать для этого устройства. Чини травм.
Yeah? Did you blow it up? So they are still alive. But the dormitory comm isn't picking up anything. 
Is there any way to get to them? Yeah. Voice print? Great. That means he'd have to speak the code. And he's dead, right? There's ways to beat voice prints, though. If you can get samples of his voice and the right words, you should be able to fake the voice print code, if you know what it is. You know, I overheard the maintenance officer getting chewed out by the security officer. You might want to check the security office on this level and see if there's any voice samples stored in the logs. And maybe there's samples of the code in the maintenance officer's hollow logs, if you can find a way to record them. That's a start. See if you can find any recordings where the maintenance officer is speaking, and try to piece together the words to unlock the voice print. Finish the sonic imprint Whoa. sensor prototype for the mining droids. Everyone knows they need an upgrade. The sensor should allow me to issue voice commands to them rather than manually adjusting their routine each time the mining specifications change. I've been keeping the sensor in the maintenance workshop for the time being. I wanted to test it first by recording and playing back some simple voice commands. I finished my examination of the droids from the Ebonhawk freighter. The T3 unit looked like it had shut itself down. The protocol droid, however, made up for it. It talked my ear off for most of the hour, asking questions about the facility, the personnel, and so on. Still, it wanted to make itself useful, so I put it to work until its master wakes up from the med bay. It seems to have some skills in speaking to droid behavior cores, so... There's been some trouble with some of the mining droids, so I'm signing off. But speaking to the protocol droid about the Jedi and med bay, I thought they'd all gone away or been killed in the Jedi Civil War. The droid told me that his master is the only Jedi he knows of in all the galaxy, and that the Jedi had served in the Mandalorian Wars almost ten years ago. That would have meant that the Jedi served under Revan for a time. Maybe the Jedi knows what happened to Revan after the end of the Jedi Civil War. I've been too busy to enter a log for a while. There's been more and more accidents since that Jedi arrived. The miners are starting to get restless, especially Korda. Korda said the exchange is offering a huge bounty on Jedi Knights and that we can make a fortune if we sell the Jedi to Nar Shaddaa. Security shot down that idea pretty quick. But I don't think Korda and his men are gonna give up that easy. I mentioned the trouble to the Jedi's protocol droid, and he seemed concerned about his master's safety. I told the droid not to worry. The Korda wouldn't... When the dock officer reported the droids repairing the Ebonhawk, I installed a voice print ID on the droid console system. Someone ordered them to repair that freighter, and I can't find a trace of the order anywhere. If anyone tries that again, they won't be able to do it from this terminal unless I let them. The voice print should cut any user off from the central functions unless I get the code. The maintenance check on the droids didn't help. If anything, the accidents have increased. Security interrogated me about the droids, and they weren't too happy with my answers. I don't understand it, though. These aren't combat models. They shouldn't even know how to attack. I can't help but think, what if somebody staged the initial trouble with the mining droids just to get them all sent to maintenance, and then did something to them? I think security's right. Someone's trying to sabotage this facility, and they're using the droids to do it. But why? Well, why? Вам удалось получить третью часть голосового кода из графической журнала. Теперь вам нужно найти вот эти другие фрагменты.
идиотовского охраны. Maybe you can tell me what's going on with these droids. Sir, I don't know. It's like their behavior cores are undergoing binary decay, but I can't find the source. This shouldn't be happening. Well, that's reassuring. It isn't happening. So the next time we nearly have a breach in the ventilation tunnels, I can just close my eyes and pretend it's my imagination. You better give me some answers. I want to know the damage these droids can do if they start mining us instead of asteroid rock. Sir... These droids aren't combat models. Their mining lasers are weaker and less accurate than blasters. I doubt those droids could even hit one of us. Are you blind? What about the miners in Med Bay? It's sabotage, and it started right at... So... Yes. Found anything? Yeah. Voice print? Great. That means he'd have to speak. Yeah. So they are still alive. Voice There's ways to beat Voice Prince, though. If you can get samples of his voice and the right words, you should be able to fake the voice. You know, I overheard the maintenance officer getting chewed out by the security officer. You might want to check the security office on this level and see if there's any voice samples stored in the logs. And maybe there's samples of the code in the maintenance officer's hollow logs, if you can find a way to record them. That's a start. Yeah? Did you blow it up? Yeah, we'll watch. On. And of 
according to one. So, you You, sir. I installed an. Is that. I secured. Finish the sonic imprint. Finish my examination. Been speaking to the pro. Been too busy to enter. I'm on the dock office. The main is checking. Pleasure to see you intact. Yeah. Alarmed query. 
Indeed. Master, how is it possible that a T3 unit got dumped in such a place? Like a piece of unwanted garbage? Thoughtful extrapolation. Perhaps it ran afoul of the other droids in this facility and was attacked. Most distressing. It is too bad that there is no way to reach the droid from here, Master. Otherwise you might be able to determine what happened to it. Of yeah. Condescending expert musing. In the lack conju Con соединить вместе под все что нужно это терминал офицера обслуживания чтобы его активировать
Для выхода из задушного вам понадобится скафандр. Который просто шикарный. Так, практически я Что бы нет, потому что Так, все. На этом все. Так что давай, счастливо, всего тебе доброго.